say we come in and make Zach Wilson a starter off off the, off the rip. Mm-hmm. You know, Zach Wilson struggles. Then he gets benched. Then that 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 looks really really bad. But see, they and would it, never they would never bench the they would never. You bench don't him. know that because yeah. if he, he plays poorly him. enough, he will get benched. For the pressure fails. The well, like, yeah. what is that? that? That would just prove you're the joke of the organization. But, and you, and because everyone because thinks they are. It mean it means they drafted him when he wasn't ready, and they started him when he wasn't ready, and then you throw Sam Darnold back in, and it becomes another QB circus. And so that's why you have him come in too. and sit. No, but see, this is. This is the thing. First of all, the Jets don't want to do anything unprecedented that we haven't really seen. Listen, we've seen quarterbacks sit. How do you know that? Because why would they want to do that? I'm not saying. I, I'm not no, 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 no. I'm not going to let you get take. away with that. It's a Declan no. take. You, you have zero fact. You just, you just <laughs> said a feeling. I feel they're going to do. No, we're not doing that. I'm not no, letting you get wait, away with that. On. What are you talking Absolutely about? Absolutely not. You just why would the Jets the, want to do anything the, unprecedented? We've only hold, seen. Hold guys on, Greg. Hold on, Greg. We only see guys sit behind old quarterbacks. Even mid to early thirties, we see them get reps behind yeah. them. We don't do. We don't have a guy that the team drafted three years ago in the top five. Hey, you're going to sit behind this guy for a couple of years. It makes no sense. It's stupid. You're not going to bench nope. him behind a guy that was supposed to be your franchise guy, as I, opposed to a guy that was the guy. I hear that, Declan. But I guess well, not. Guess I know what Greg is and saying is that it. the organization has not said anything. There's no inkling of of that being a fact. Yes, you could feel that and think that it's the most logical thing. But I agree with him that that is how you feel, and that is no. There's no indication that the Jets would not go that route. Then they still I'm could. They don't want to do anything unprecedented. Is what I'm. Saying. I'm gonna chime. I'm gonna chime in. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah chime in. I just feel even if when it, when the guy I feel the Jets are going to draft Zach, right? He should start from the get-go anyway. Just because of the lack of the competition that he has had and he will have to catch up to the speed of the game. If Sam is there, you don't train him, Sam should start. It's no, it's no issue with him just getting to know how the NFL works. Why are we rushing these guys for failure? Also, the hype train that we talked about earlier is killed if he sits down for you. <laughs> Yeah, you absolutely. Slow, you can slow some of that down. Yeah. You control the narrative if you bench him immediately because there's no quarterback controversy. There's no reporters in camp asking every day who's going to be the starter, who's playing well. Sam Donald's, Sam Donald's our guy. Zach Wilson's our guy of the future. Sam mm-hmm. knows it. He's playing for another job elsewhere. And Zach oh, Wilson yeah, knows that. that he has the keys to the offense. You know, it, it, it kills all the media, uh, like Dave said, the media hype train. But if you're going to do that, though, then you bring in a guy like Ryan Fitzpatrick or you bring in an older veteran to do that. You, don't, what? What? you have yeah, a Sam Darnold on the books for what? I think I already have the, the draft. Like they will. If, if you have, have – sorry, continue, Dave. You, oh, you can go. No, I think Alex Smith will be a big sign if uh, he's been in that position exactly. before. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's what I would do, honestly. If you want to bench him, I would bring in Alex Smith. But when have we ever seen a 25-year-old quarterback – Start who was drafted in the first, not even the first round, the first five picks. When have we seen a 25 year old quarterback have to be the veteran for the guy they draft in the top two? You don't see that. That's the job of a 35 year old quarterback. Historically, there's not too many incompetent organizations like the Jets. So (laughs) there's that. Yeah. So let's not continue to be incompetent. I mean, Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen got moved, luckily, you know, before Kyler Murray came in when he, you know, didn't have a chance to to prove himself uh, for the Cardinals. I just think that the circumstance is very difficult for Sam Darnold because the value isn't there for him and the Jets aren't going to move him just for anything. You know, you'd want to, I agree, Declan, you'd want to move him like now and then bring in a, a journeyman to go and like be the guy, the lead. But if you can't do that, I still see the value in Sam Darnold starting and then adding value because his stock is low. It, that, that's just I, a fact. That's why he hasn't moved yet. Yeah, I really believe, though, and that also, they can get a second-round pick from him. Like, he's shown more than Josh Rosen has. By a, by yeah, a lot. Of yeah, yeah. Also, so and not, and Rosen and not just, a second-round pick. And not just his stock is low. The Jets have no leverage. We know yeah. you want to give it to so you can want to do what I give you. <laughs> yeah, that's Also, real. and if you have – if you come in and you bench um, Zach Wilson from, from jump and Sam plays – Eight games plays poorly. Guess what? The shift, the switch becomes a lot easier than if it's flipped the other way around. Yeah, but then now, what are you doing with Sam Darnold? You're just going to he becomes a career backup. That's it. No, you're going to. Now you're losing value that you can get now. 